In this problem, we need to use our knowledge of linear pairs and vertical angles and a little bit of algebra to solve for some variables in this figure. We want to find z, we want to find x. z shouldn't be too hard if we know about vertical angles. And you know, vertical angles are those angles that are across from each other when two lines, straight lines, intersect like this. And the thing about vertical angles is that they're always the same, they're congruent. So if this side is 105, z is 105. All right, so that part is easy enough. Now we need to find x. And here we're going to use the fact that these two angles form a linear pair. So they're two angles that um, make up this line right here. So they're going to add up to 180 degrees. So if I add this and this and set it equal to 180, then I can solve that equation for x. So let me write that out. 105 plus 13x minus 16 equals 180. So there is my equation. I just need to solve that for x. Let's um, combine like terms. I've got a, a 105 and a negative 16. That's 89. So 13x plus 89 equals 180. And then I'm going to subtract 89 from both sides. And I get 13x equals 91. And then I just need to divide by 13 on both sides. And I think that gives us x equals 7. So z was 105, x is 7. And that is how to use your knowledge of vertical angles and linear pairs to solve some equations.